What's up everybody? This is Air Creed Harry and today I'm here to tell you I started my experimental greenhouse and I call it an experimental greenhouse because I have three different things going on here. The first is the obvious. I'm building a tire wall uh, greenhouse. The greenhouse is going to be built out of tires similar to Earthship and the reason I say experimental is because unlike an earth ship where number one it's a lot of labor you have to fill the tires with soil and you pound it with a sledgehammer it's just um i like the idea of the earth ships but i don't i don't like the labor and uh, usually there's like a million volunteers that you need if you had to pay for the labor for earth ship it'd be it's astronomical prices so anyway, the experiment here is to remove one side wall of the tire, fill it with soil, and then run over it with my uh, compactor, the vibrating compactor. And um, I don't see any reason why that's not going to work just fabulously. So what I've done is with this first row of tires, I took both sides out. So I, the soil I put in here will be in contact with the soil under it. Uh, but it's just my base layer. After this layer, all the other tires that go on top will only have one side wall cut out. And it'll be placed, it'll be staggered, filled with soil, and vibrated. And I'm going to do that for every layer of tires. And there'll only be one side. It's going to have like maybe 10 or 12 tires tall. The other side here will only have two tires tall. Because this will be the front. But I was giving myself um, a barrier for many of the animals that like to crawl and tunnel through. Um, so basically, I'm going to end up making an impenetrable wall for any of these digging creatures so they can't come in and start munching out on, uh, on our greens. <laughs> so um, that's the other benefit. It's going to be pretty tight. I don't think the bottom's all rock. It, there's nothing digging through here. It's just the sides. Uh, creatures do dig you see holes all over through here so anyway um, there'll be two rows of tires this one and another but the sides and what's the back wall will be about 12 high and so anyway that's the experiment uh, I got this great side wall cutting machine and we've been cutting the side walls off of these tires it's been a breeze and in fact if you uh, stick around you can watch the video of Mrs. Eckery and I doing these tires. So the second experiment going on is a geothermal energy tubing. And so what I have is six inch corrugated tubing that is buried and there's um, uh, 200 feet of corrugated tubing buried in the ground. And the idea for that is, and that's also why there's a mountain of soil here, I actually pushed the soil that we dug out of here on top to give some more soil depth to the to the tubes because the six inch corrugated tubes are only about two feet deep because that's all the soil we have here there's a ton of rock and so um i pushed the soil up so now i have my eight feet of soil on top of my tubing and so uh, that's the second experiment. In the third experiment, I also have uh, PEX tubing in the ground, about, I think, 300 feet of PEX tubing. And the PEX tubing idea is going to be for making water from air. So the idea is to pump water through the tubing, have that water uh, absorb the heat of the earth, which should be approximately 52 degrees, uh, and as that water comes back out, it'll go through a radiator, like a car radiator, an aluminum radiator. And the idea is the temperature difference between the outside ambient air and the cooler water going through will cause condensation on that radiator plate. And that should just drip and I should be able to collect that water. Uh, I know there are systems that exist that make a lot of water from air. But this is what I think going to be the simplest system that pretty much anyone can build. So if this works as I think it will, 
it's going to be a, a big game changer for people like myself who have to haul water. I have to go with my trailer. I travel a few miles and, you know, load up 500 to 800 gallons at a time. And then I bring it back and transfer it to my other water tank. So, you know, that's what we have to do because the well water around here is very bad. And who wants to dig? I don't know how long you'd have to drill to get water around here. And on top of that, it's not that great. So, uh, so that's the three experiments. So if you want to see the full version of this video, go to uh, Off Grid Dome Living. That's the other YouTube channel we have for all of this type of uh, construction and things we'll be doing. And I'm keeping most of all the Aircrete stuff on Aircrete Harry. And um, I have a lot of Aircrete projects coming up and experiments. I'm going to have some final numbers. Hopefully this year, I'm going to have all my compressive strength tests for all the different samples of Aircrete. So I'll have, I'll have the hard numbers myself. And um, also some thermal tests with heat and cold with the Aircrete. And so just to have some solid numbers, and I'm looking forward to doing that. But right now, getting this greenhouse and the dome home built is, is the, uh, it's what's happening right now. So anyway, peace out. Love you all, and I'll catch you later. Tapped in lately, my life had a fast man, but it's ass plan. Fight for my life with the brass hands, and I still ball with a bad hand. Got an aerial point of view, but they'll never see the big picture through zoom lens. From the quicksand, make it push start, type of bands cool, but the tent plan. I'm back on my bender rolls for the kicks. They quit to give them two cents, but my circle tight like we glued hands. Like I don't believe in new friends. Trail light, I know the ice then. I drop the song, get a few wins. I crave the comfort in my own skin. Really, I just wanna feel the world spin. Hope I check, watch we double that. I get it lit, I watch it bubble up. Remember open it for shows, no a show, but I pull through muscle down. Now the label one, fuck with us. I spin the paper, let them know what's up I figured I'd be really on to something Cause these jealous niggas give a subtle love Crazy, they hella shaky on that really But that's fake, shit see through the shade Shit, they so unstable, done waiting I'ma wind the last, I'm really going all the way to places Never thought I'd take it all off the phrase But I can't get no sleep, blending in the weeks Life is bittersweet, I can't really explain it But it's everything I need, at least for now I think That everything might be, alright, okay, okay yeah, yeah. I can't get no sleep, blending in the weeks I can't really explain it, but it's everything I need At least for now I think that everything might be Alright, okay, okay, okay yeah. These days I get replays, blue faces How I decorated the loose page Remember how I used to serve the plate Clean the food tray, working 8 to 4 from Tuesday Through the weekdays, hustle evenings at the stool Off Highway 92 in Haywood Always running just a few legs Tucking a new game, back to the crib and I color in new ways Building a new blade, but the budget tied me down like shoe strings Connected the loose change, those were the days that made me She on my line like a beacon, she could've swore that I was cheating Be honest, I was barely breathing Chasing the life how I wanted it, knowing it you was all that I need Puzzled at all of the pieces that fit like a glove, you sit it right in front of me How I don't see it, hit up the Brody to fit Like thought and I take it easy, am I young or something? No, I'm not reaching to be validated Instead I get told from the parking space, why do it feel like I can have a vote Full of ominous faces, the art I won't save us I thought the ground was for the breaking, look like it's all overrated Yeah, like it's all overrated Like it's all overrated to me Like it's all overrated to me I can't get no sleep, blending in the weeks Life is bittersweet, I can't really explain it But it's everything I need, at least for now I think That everything might